Yo, what up? This a new video right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, <sighs> oh my fucking god, man. What the fuck, man? If y'all guys want to know why I'm acting like this, but guess what, y'all? I don't know how to fucking start this off, but I did, I really have to get this video out here. You know what I mean? Um, this nigga whack one hundred. Did this nigga didn't do what I think he did? Did this motherfucker diss Tupac again? I mean, like... Somebody is gonna fucking blow a whack head off one day. I mean, seriously, man. I don't understand how many fucking times... Do he have to mention Tupac's name out of his fucking big ass mouth? I mean, like, come on, whack. Like, you already had your 60 minutes of fame, man. Like, leave Tupac alone. Let the man rest in peace. Like, how many times motherfuckers gotta tell you that, man? I'm like, we. Nigga, if you don't like Pac, say it, dog. You don't like Pac. We get it. We all know you're a Tupac hater, man. We all know that you mad, you jealous of Pac, you envious of him, because Tupac gets more love and respect than your bitch ass ever will have. You just mad because Tupac did more gangster shit than you ever think about doing. I mean, like, whack, what, what is your function with you and Tupac? I mean, like, nigga, you never even met the guy before, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, the, what made you want to go out there and start talking all this bullshit about Pac, man? I mean, seriously, like... Last year, we had to get on your ass for talking shit about Pac almost every fucking day, man. But now you back at it again. Nigga, you is a fucking hater, man. Like, leave leave Pac, leave the man alone. Let him rest in peace, man. I mean, like, you are just, you're fucking up his legacy, man. You cannot fool real Pac fans such as myself, man, nigga. I mean, seriously. Like, Tupac, he was letting, the, he was letting us know... How fucked up and crooked the world was. And so that's why he made people. That's why he made music. To uplift and influence a lot of people. In different communities. Tupac did a lot of shit for his community. What the fuck do you do Wack 100? But just besides going on Instagram. And acting a damn fool. And running your damn mouth like a fucking female. What do you do besides thugging on Instagram? What's that? Nigga you just a fucking manager man. Stop acting like you try, stop trying to get the spotlight and stay in the back and do your job as a manager, man. I mean, game, I like your music, but game, this nigga whack is making you look bad, man. He's making you look bad. Niggas are saying that, man. Game, you need to, you need to talk to this nigga on the real. I mean, seriously. Or just fire his ass one or the other. You know what I mean? Like, I... I wouldn't, because if I was you, I would not have a fucking bitch of a manager like Wack 100. You know what I'm saying? And also, guys, um, earlier today, as soon as I came home from school, um, I made a post on Instagram just letting everybody know how I felt about the Tupac disrespect. I think the disrespect is out of control and it's fucking annoying to hear clowns like Wack 100 still on the internet. I'm talking bullshit about the man over and over and over and over and over again. This is going to make you want to punch this nigga in his fucking mouth, man. And shout out to my home. Shout out to um that guy Rel from the um three on three live show for doing that interview with Wack last night. Very great fucking interview. You pretty much know made Wack punk ass explain himself. No, he asked why the fuck Wack didn't bail Suge Knight out of jail like he always be bragging about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just letting the, just make letting just making a man explain himself. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know Wack 100, he just say shit out of his fucking ass, but don't know what the fuck is he talking about or what the hell he mean. So, 
Like I said, I made this post on Instagram. Now everybody know how I felt about the disrespect. I said it was fucking corny. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up about Pac, period, nigga. Like, whack, if you don't like Pac, you don't have to like Pac, nigga. But you do not say that fucking negative, disrespectful remarks that you're saying about him right now, man. I mean, seriously. I'm like, somebody is going to fucking kill your ass one day, whack. I'm telling you, man. Watch your fucking mouth. Like, leave Tupac alone. Don't act like there's going to be millions of Tupac fans all over the world going in on your ass on the internet. And niggas is ready to fight you anyway, so what's the point? And yeah, I saw that comment you made talking shit like you always do. Like, nigga, that's not affecting me at all, man. You talking about, oh, grab your Glock when you see whack on the block. Like, nigga, you fucking bit that off, hit him up, man. Like, nigga, that comes to tell you want to be pox so fucking bad, dog. Like, nigga, you too, nigga, you ain't shit compared to Tupac, first of all, man. Damn sure ain't shit compared to Suge Knight. Although I don't fucking like Suge, but you know what I mean. Like, nigga, you could take that Pyro shit somewhere else, man. Save that Pyro shit for the fucking birds. I mean, no disrespect to the whole Pyro niggas. No disrespect to the Bloods, but why the fuck I got this nigga even wrong with y'all? Why y'all even fucking with this nigga? I know some of y'all don't even like him, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Let this nigga know to watch his fucking mouth about Pac, man. If he diss Tupac one more time, that's gonna be a fucking ass whack. Fuck you, whack. Pac, may you rest in peace. Your legacy live on. So yeah, had to get this video out and open real quick. You know what I mean? So yeah, folks, that was it for the video. Give me your thoughts and comments as always. Hope y'all enjoyed. Salute.